I've never in my life gone on the streets and looked for any kind of drug. I'm not looking to get high on marijuana and then go up to something else and then up to something else because that's not my need. My need is the medical marijuana. Now after I got my card, which was easy, I was told to go to the streets to buy it. Anybody up there tell me an easier way? Because you know, I don't really feel too too easy or smooth even talking to people about it. Nonetheless, just to go up to strangers and ask them. Hawaii also does not provide a legal means for me to procure seeds, propagation material, or plants without breaking the law. There is no other controlled pharmaceutical or herbal medication available in this state that forces the patient to break the law in order to obtain their medicine. This was one of the most cruel and inhumane ways to administer medicine to people. First of all, 99% of the people, I would say even 100% of the people who became medical marijuana patients, they didn't even know what the hell a marijuana plant looked like in the first place. Uh, I guess it's just supposed to flit out of the air somewhere into their lap. The current law tells you, here are the rules. You must follow these rules. Don't do anything illegal or, boy, you're going to get into trouble. The very first problem is there's no way to legally buy seed. If that is an entrapment, I don't know what is. A patient's supply of medicine depends on the success of the patients or caregivers um, growing and harvesting cannabis plants at maturity with no provisions for the vagaries of agriculture, the weather, or other phenomena which may have influence on a successful harvest. When I have a crop failure or a theft, I have to go without my medication and I need to take far more pharmaceuticals with far more side effects to take care of my symptoms. It could be as simple as a bad infestation of white fly. It could be as bad as a neighbor stealing my medication a week before it's ripe. Both have happened and everything in between. Um, recent, recently, my family and I have been kicked out of our house because I use medical marijuana. And right now, I'm not getting any, any, any help from the federal government because it's, they say it's not legal, so I'm getting no, no help from HUD or from the Americans with Disabilities Act. I have been referred to, to the Hawaii, like what Hawaii can do for me, but um, I am being kicked out of my house simply because I use medical marijuana. Nobody. Speaker Suki sh uh, shared with me one of the reasons why we need to move forward with this dispensary task force and this dispensary system, because we don't want to be telling our patients to go to the... Yeah, because it really don't make much sense. So that's, what, that's why, that's one of the motivations for this. Thank you. Thank you.